Welcome to the Cinema Studies Audio Kit tutorial. We will go through the basics of what's in the audio kit itself, how to set it up, how to break it down, basic use of our Tascam audio recorder, and then we will get into some, um, you know, a uh, little bit more advanced boom mic techniques and also move into some troubleshooting and cable rolling things so that you will have basically most of the information that you need to go out into the field and record great sounding audio because audio is half of your film so you really want it to sound good uh, one of the greatest uh, myths ever told is that you can fix bad audio in posts so um, anyways with that said we'll get right into what is in the kit when you check it out from room 18. We'll come in a bag, uh, a boom kit bag like this, and we'll go over some of the items in here. Uh, what you'll have in this bag right here is uh, the Tascam audio uh, recorder. It comes in a bag. Um, set that aside. Uh, you also have this uh, red bag. Inside of this red bag will be several things. Uh, you will find um, your headphone monitors, uh, Sony uh, MDR7506 flat frequency response headphone monitors. You will find a clamp uh, if you want to affix the audio recorder to the boom pole. Um, and you will also find a short uh, right angled XLR uh, cable in, in there. Other things that will be in the bag uh, will be a uh, longer uh, right angled XLR cable, okay? Uh, a bag uh, like this that contains the boom pole. So the telescoping boom pole will be found inside of this protective bag. You will also have um, a, a Zeppelin or a blimp, um, and this is on a pistol grip which is this right here that you can hold with your hand, or this will also affix to uh, a boom pole. Um, and just to show you what's inside of here, there should be no reason ever that you need to open, open this, but I'm gonna just show you what's inside. Um, inside of here, if we take off the Zeppelin itself, you will find um, a microphone. Uh, so this is a Rode, uh, NT2 uh, shotgun microphone. It has a hypercardioid or supercardioid pickup pattern, which basically means that it will pick up directly where the microphone is uh, pointed. The thing to note about these type of pickup patterns on a, on a microphone is that it's very narrow, but it also picks up sound or noise from the back. So you always want to be cautious of uh, where is the noise coming from. So not only the sound that you want to capture from your talent, but also is there traffic behind you and then, and then adjust that. Um, so this is the, the pistol, uh, pistol grip and it's suspended here on, on um, elastic bands um, on, on the mount. So it's it, to reduce vibration. Um, so I'll put that back. We'll talk a little bit more about, about this, um, but there should be um, no reason to open this up. Also what you will find in the bag, the last thing, is what's called a furry windsock. There are actually multiple, multiple nicknames for this that you can Google online if you want to know what they are. Um, but this is a furry windsock and this uh, is something that you can use when you're outside. It goes over uh, the front of the Zeppelin, okay, and you put it over the front of the Zeppelin and it goes, pulls over the back and basically this is just to reduce unwanted noise from wind and you'd only use this outside and if you needed to use this outside. That is the gist of what is in the kit when you check this out from room 18. In our next tutorial we will go over how to set up um, the contents of this kit.